Pepper profiler amp. Okay. Uh, through my seventh string Jordan. Really we'll see if we get some good sounds happening. Tell us about the violin. So it's a Jordan seven string. Uh huh. Uh, I had it spec spec to my hands, which, like our current president, are very small. But I admit it, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm comfortable with the small hands. Um, so therefore, the neck is uh, shaped to kind of uh, accommodate my small hands. So like it, it fools my hand into thinking that it's only a violin size neck. The other cheat is that the spacing of the strings is actually the same spacing as a three-quarter size violin. So, and I feel like it's okay because I'm not really playing any Bach partitas on this thing anyway. So I don't, I mean like, you know, the, the spacing's all right. So uh, there's that. I took off a little modifications from the Jordan. I decided to opt out for the, it comes with a shoulder rest, it comes with a wolf or a coon, mm -hmm. but I didn't want that. I, I just put two uh, shoulder pads and, uh, and a strap, because um, the shows that I would play, I'd like throw myself like, you know, into people. <laughs> so like it's not, you know, like, I can't just you have the it violin to go flying into yeah, the audience. I can't have it free flow. <laughs> so that's, that's what that is. So this, this is the violin. This is an Arcus bow, which is super light and super powerful. As you can tell, you could, you could, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of uh, force, uh, physical force, to make the, the B flat strings move. So. To get them to move like that is, is, is I think this bow is really fantastic for that kind of thing. Hey, how many strings do you go through a year? <laughs> I don't, not that many. Really? Not that many. I mean, the, the, the low ones really, really go really last for a long time. I've had these on for like a year. Really? Yeah. The, uh, 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 the higher ones go pretty fast. Mm. But these... And there's also the grind. Not, not grind, but there's a... Like the... So that's actually different too because like if I were to play that with classical technique, it's like... Sounds like... Get it. So you have to. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of a palm mute too, in that way. So yeah, I guess it's a new thing, but it's still totally related to classical bow technique. It's not. It's just. It's just application. Isn't it? It's just application is different, and then also, I guess I found a healthy way to create more like. It's a, It's just allowing my whole hand to pronate instead of like letting something go out of whack. But it's so, but the overall force, you still need more force. It's not the easiest thing to get it to speak in the low register that clearly. So there's a couple things helping me. The camper also is really helping me in terms of that thing because it's a cheat. It's actually a cheat because with two amps that are natural like that, you get actually the, the, the natural limitation of the short fat string. It's all physics, right? So you're gonna get like angry bee farts it's like because the tube sound is honest. But the Kemper does such a fantastic job of this, with, through the zeros and ones of making, making it sound realistic that it's still all computers doing it, but that it works. So that's my sound. All right. Thanks, Earl. Yeah. Appreciate it.